How's it going guys? I'm out running some errands today. I'm in a close by town, uh, it's where I live at, called Cape Girardeau, Missouri. This town has, I don't know, 40, 60,000 people, something like that. You see tons and tons of Audis, BMWs, even 911s driving around. Um, I know for a fact there's nobody in this town or anywhere close doing any kind of legitimate service in any of these cars. There's no dealer here. As far as I know, there's no legitimate secondary uh, shop that does anything with them either. So I pull up in this parking lot and there is an Audi Q5 sitting here. You know, it's got brake dust over the front wheels. Uh, just looks kind of beat, you know, and it's pretty new. And I'm thinking, man, who, who in the hell is keeping that thing up? We know it's not the local tire shop, which is where usually everybody goes to get stuff fixed at. I'm sure they could probably barely change the oil, let alone do anything else to it. So the guy comes out. I'm sitting here waiting. Comes out. I talk to him and say, hey, you know, just saw your Audi. You're just wondering, you know, where you get it serviced at or what exactly the deal is. And he said that he's been driving all the way to St. Louis, which is three hours away, to get service at the dealership. So I was sitting here talking to him. I had this ratchet. I just traded out at Sears laying on my seat. And he's looking at my window and he says... Do you work on these cars? And I said, well, I work on a lot of BMW, a lot of Mercedes, some Audis. And he is pretty eager to find somebody to service it. And I told him, I was like, well, I have pretty much everything to service that car with. I don't have the timing tools for it. But being it's pretty new, it looked like about 2013. Uh, shouldn't need any of that stuff. You know, just basic service. Uh, he said it does need brakes really bad. Uh, and that kind of stuff. So I gave him my phone number. It just baffles my mind anywhere I go, there is a severe lack of service places, any kind of service, even the most basic service. And we know damn well, even when you go to St. Louis, a lot of the secondary carriers, even the dealerships that I buy cars from that are broken, uh, don't have any damn idea what they're doing, especially when the car gets to be a few years old. You know, none of their techs are trained on this stuff. They just have no damn idea and they're charging anywhere from 85 to 200 dollars an hour so it just goes to show you guys the biggest thing you could do for yourself no matter what kind of car you have is do your research go on the internet find out what is likely to go wrong with your car before it goes wrong and you need to be expecting that stuff to happen if you do that any of these german cars even a toyota you got to do some research man Unless you're mega rich, which more than likely you're not mega rich, or you'd be having brand new stuff and this wouldn't be an issue. You wouldn't be watching this video right now. Uh, you need to do your research yourself. Stop giving these other shops hundreds of dollars an hour and crazy money for parts. They're just getting rich off of you. That's the only thing they're doing. You know, at some of these shops they already are rich. They live in a brand new house. They have tons of brand new cars. You know, stop making other people rich and do something for yourself. You know, the BMW scanner I use every day, it costs $40 off eBay. 40 bucks. You know, you could buy tools from Sears. Get some Craftsman tools. They're not the best, but it's plenty good for what you need. You could buy a toolbox now for a little over 100 bucks, 150 bucks. If you go crazy, 200 bucks. You know, instead of giving that money to a shop, spend a few hundred dollars yourself and then you're prepared to fix your car now if you're an idiot don't do that you need to take it to somewhere most 99% of you guys are really good guys you email me all the time you're really smart some of you guys if you're fixing stuff with a butter knife don't don't try to fix your own car you're just gonna break stuff now remember 99% of you probably 99.5% of you can easily do it yourself. So that being said, as soon as I get my running done, I'm gonna go back, try to get that pipe put on the E36. We did get the top end gasket set for the Camry. Uh, so that'll be on the other channel probably tomorrow. And still have not got a chance guys, sorry, on the M62 TU timing chain guides. It's sitting there on the engine stand. I need to do the video. I need to commit, once I started, I can't stop it. I mean, I need to do the whole entire video once I can start it. I need to allow a couple hours to do that and uh, put that up for you guys with the 540s. 
740s and X5s with the M62 TU V8. But that's all for today's rant video, guys. Again, thanks for watching. The channel just got over 500,000 views total. I'm really happy about that. Uh, you guys are doing great. Keep watching the videos. You know, that puts money in my pocket. That lets me be able to keep buying camera stuff and tripods and lets me be able to keep doing this stuff to give you guys the info you need uh, to keep your car running and driving.